Hi, this video will help us set up a right triangle for work with trigonometric ratios. But first, we have to learn how to label the triangle with sides opposite or adjacent to a given acute angle in our right triangles. So we will begin with the diagram that you could see on the screen. Notice that what's given is the most famous right triangle. Why? That is because triangle with the sides 3, 4, 5 is always guaranteed to be a right triangle and very often is used in our assessments. So the first thing to observe for is always where your right angle is. Since vertex B is where we have 90 degree angle, right across from it, we will find the side AC with the measure 5, which we call hypotenuse. Now imagine that we're labeling our triangle in reference to acute angle A. For that, we will have to put this curve on the angle. And I also will ask you to imagine that you put your two fingers right at its vertex, just like you see it's been done on your screen. You see, I find it to be helpful because one of these fingers always goes along a hypotenuse, but the other one always lies on the side adjacent to angle A. Adjacent means that it lies right next to it and maybe even touches like in our case. Now it's also important to notice that right across, across from angle A, there is side BC. Side BC is the only side, take a look at it individually, that does not grow from vertex A. And it is the side that we call opposite to angle A. So this completes setting up the triangle for working with trigonometric ratios. But here's the thing. You see, your labels will depend very much on what angle you're working with. Notice what I'm going to do next. I'm going to simply copy the triangle the way it was. No changes whatsoever. But this time, instead of labeling it in reference to angle A, I will label it in reference to angle C. So just like in the first example, I will make sure that I label this angle with the curves and identify a side opposite to the right angle B. Again, our hypotenuse 5 is AC. But if you put your two fingers at vertex C, then you will notice that this time one of the sides is the hypotenuse and the other is adjacent and it happens to be side C, B. C, B with the measure of 4. What a strange thing. Just three minutes ago, side B, C had a name opposite and now all of a sudden it's adjacent. See, the trick is to notice that you're working with a different angle. And of course, because side BC originates from vertex C, it's going to have to be its adjacent. In the same manner, angle A from which side AB started identified AB as side adjacent to it. So, in the same fashion, you will be able to see that right opposite to angle C, 
there lies side AB. I highlighted it so it's easier for you to see that vertex C does not lie on that side, does not touch it in any way. And therefore, it only makes sense that we name AB in reference to angle C as a side opposite angle C. That's all.